Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm going to show you my workouts, how I eat, uh, my beauty routine, hair routine, skincare routine, treatments I do. And also one more thing I'm going to talk about is the mindset, which is very, very important. home as you saw i had pretty big breakfast it was very yummy and now i'm gonna get my stuff and i'm gonna leave soon because my workout is at 12 30 and i want to get there a bit earlier so i have time to just like prepare for my workout outside is currently freezing so i think i'm just gonna take the car it's just too much for walking today i'm doing a 45 i think minute workout that is running and weight training i've been a couple of times i tried it out and i really like it um these are like my go-to classes when i'm in london and i'm gonna film my workout of course so you can see what do we do in the class it's a bit later now it's 4 13 p.m and at 5 i have infrared sauna appointment so that's another thing for today and part of my preparation usually i only stay 25 minutes in the infrared sauna i know some people go for 45 an hour it just doesn't work for me it gets too warm for me in there and i just have to get out this week i have appointment today and i have a 25 minute appointment tomorrow and i think that's perfectly fine for this week and i don't know know when i'm in milan maybe i book an appointment maybe i don't i don't know hello guys it's a bit later now um a lot of you asked me to show you my hair care routine and my skincare routine so i'm gonna do it in this video whenever i have a photo shoot or i have work they use a lot of heat on my hair a lot of products and it's important for me to just take care of my hair properly and also when i'm on the break and i'm not working to just let my hair be as natural as possible and to use way less product also i'm trying to wear way less makeup during the day sometimes i don't even apply makeup in the evenings if i go to dinner or something i do apply a little bit but i'm trying to stay away from it just because my skin needs to breathe and just to take a break i also do some treatments for my skin for my body and i'll show them to you in this video as well a little bit later the first thing now i am going to wash my hair and also one thing to mention i try to wash my hair every four to five days not less than that but unfortunately when i work a lot i have to wash my hair almost every single day or at least after every single shoot because i need to have like freshly washed hair for each job here i have my shampoo and conditioner i'm almost out i've been loving this brand i'm not sure how you pronounce it but it's for fine hair and i'm planning to buy a new bottle very soon because as you can see <laughs> i always use shampoos without sulfates that's very important for me because i also have very dry skin naturally so when i wash my hair with a shampoo that has sulfates it dries out my scalp and that's really bad one more thing that i recently implemented into my routine is a scalp massager this one is from the brand vegamore 
I got it at Sephora and every single time I wash my hair I put a shampoo all over and then I use this to gently scrub my scalp and that's how I shampoo my hair also you can use it out of the shower for head massage so you will just do it gently and circular motions and helps with your circulation and hair growth I'm gonna get in the shower right now and then I'm gonna go back to you and show you some other products that I use for my hair <laughs> microfiber hair towel. I am on their website now and I'm going to read to you what are the benefits of using this towel. A hair drying tool engineered to strengthen hair while it dries. Functional design covers every routine from air drying to plopping to full towel coverage without the damage frizz or bulky towel you used to. And a key benefit, clinically proven to leave hair up to five times stronger than traditional drying methods reduces frizz, increases shine for all hair types. So this is the brand and this is the hair wrap that I have. When it comes to drying my hair, I use a hair dryer. Um, I was actually looking online to see if a hair dryer is a better option or just let the hair just dry itself. Most of the articles said that hair dry is the best option. I don't know if that's true, but I'm just gonna continue what I'm used to. So of course, I use heat protection and I'm gonna show you two products that I use. So the first product we have is leave-in conditioner from the same brand as the shampoo and conditioner that I have. I already showed you this product in one of my videos and as you can see, it's almost empty, so I need to get a new one. So what I would do is just spray it all over my hair. I'm just focusing on the ends mostly and then I'll get my brush. This is a um, tangle teaser brush and I will gently start brushing it from my ends and then I'll go up to my roots. And the second product that I use is keratin heat spray. It says two times more keratin humidity resistance and frizz control. This is how it looks like. So same thing, I'll just spray it all over. I know some people say you're supposed to apply heat protection like on each layer, but honestly, I just don't have time for that. <laughs> to spread it just all over my hair, I use a brush and I just brush it through. And now I'm gonna go and blow dry my hair. I would do it in the bathroom, but in the UK, you don't have normal plugs in the bathrooms for some reason. Okay, so I finished drying my hair and now I'm gonna show you my skincare. First thing, I'm going to wash my face with Kiehl's cleanser that I will put a photo of it here. And then I'm going to use a face mask, which is Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Hydrating Mask with Avocado and Glacier Water, which looks like this. Okay, so my camera cut off when I was putting my face mask, so we skipped that part. But I applied a thin layer or a face mask. I usually leave it overnight, but because tonight I'm going to dinner in a few hours, I'm just gonna leave it on for an hour or so. I'm also gonna apply Laneige lip mask. This one is vanilla. When I take my face mask off, I'm gonna use a serum. This is the one that I absolutely love, and this is literally my fourth bottle. Radiant Serum, Complexion Correcting, and it's for dark spots. And then afterwards, I apply moisturizer. This is my everyday moisturizer, which is Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream um, SPF 30. Also, I recently got this one, and I use it once a day. So usually, this one I use in the mornings because it has SPF and I need protection during the day. And then this one I use for my night routine. And yeah, that would be my skincare routine. So now I want to talk to you about my routine and my plan for the next few weeks. This week I did three workouts so far, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the same exact one. 
and for the rest of the week i won't be able to go to the gym because tomorrow i'm traveling i will be in switzerland for a few days and on monday so far i'm supposed to go to milan so probably my next workout will be on tuesday or wednesday next week so what i would do is like monday tuesday wednesday break thursday friday i would do a workout and then saturday would be my recovery day and sunday i would do another workout so ideally would be five workouts per week as i mentioned before i love working out and there are specific classes that i love to take my favorite ones are group workouts group classes and i used to hate running but now i'm slightly getting used to it my favorite workout would be boxing but um i try to do a combination of weight training and cardio when it comes to my eating schedule um i always listen to my body if i'm hungrier the one day then i'll just eat more if i don't feel like eating breakfast i'll skip breakfast i've already explained this in one of my videos it's called what i eat in a day so i'll just link it below and you can watch it it's all about balance and that's how my body feels the best and especially when i'm working out so much and if i work out three to five times per week my body needs to recover and needs all the nutrients so i need to be careful to eat enough and to fuel my body the next thing i want to talk about are the treatments that i do for my body, for my face. When I went to my appointment, I filmed everything. So I'm gonna show it to you in this video and tell you more about it. There is a specific facial that I do. It's just cleansing and hydrating the skin. And there is one more treatment that I do for my body, which is for my legs and my stomach. Many people get this treatment because of their cellulite and because of excess water that their body holds. But I use it more as a prevention and to heal my skin and to just take care of it in a non-invasive way. I don't do them every single month, but whenever I get a chance and I have time, I would go in for a treatment or two. And now I'm gonna show you the clips from my treatments. <laughs> Mindset is something that is extremely important when it comes to modeling. Every single person that starts modeling has its own goals, dreams, jobs they want to do, lifestyle they want to live, and this path to success is not easy. And very, very few get it very quickly. And even sometimes if they get it very quickly, it fades away as fast so sometimes it's very difficult to deal with all of these things mentally and i've seen many many girls that had many many breakdowns so many of them wanted to give up because something went wrong i know i was in the apartment and there was one girl talking on the phone it was her first season and she would say i'm not getting any shows i'm just doing castings i didn't get confirmed for any shows and she really didn't that season but she came back the next season and she did top shows in New York, top shows in Milan, top shows in Paris and if she gave up the season before she wouldn't do all these amazing things just because she wasn't patient enough and she wasn't persistent and she wasn't pushing for it. It's very easy to give up when you don't see results and sometimes you don't see results for a really long time or at least people around you don't see them. You maybe are making small steps and small achievements but they're not big enough for others to say, oh, congrats, you did great, or congrats, you did this job, or you achieved this. It's not big enough for the society to congratulate you, and if you only rely on opinions of people around you and some strangers or social media, it's very easy to get just depressed and give up and feel like there's no hope. And one thing that made a huge difference for me is that I truly didn't care what other people think. If I wasn't getting certain jobs and my career wasn't going in a certain direction, I wouldn't really care what others think about that and people would of course comment but I knew that I was going towards something bigger and those opinions 
don't present any value to me and everything was about my mindset because I was the one pushing myself forward I must say I also had a lot of people supporting me but it's very easy when you see at least one negative comment to just give up and feel bad about yourself and you start doubting yourself and your decisions because if you don't believe in yourself and you don't believe you can achieve those dreams and goals then who else will so talking about fashion week specifically um that's one crazy crazy world if you didn't experience it i don't feel like you would truly know how it is especially from the model's perspective i mean we all go to thousands of castings in our life and we maybe get confirmed for like 10 percent of it even if you see the certain girls on the runway all the time and doing all these top jobs it doesn't mean they just easily got there who knows how many castings they had and how much effort they needed to put in to have a career like that and to be doing all these amazing jobs of course i'm not saying this job is for everyone that everyone can make it of course not life is cruel and life is not fair honestly it doesn't even have to do anything with how you look how your body looks there's so many more things to it just because someone wants to be a model that doesn't mean they should be a model and i know that sounds very cruel and i'm just being very blunt of course if i cannot sing I cannot dream of having a music career and being the best pop singer in the world. It's just not realistic. Even being a model, I cannot say I'm going to be a supermodel one day. Maybe, but is that realistic? I don't think so. I do have certain goals and jobs I want to do in my career, but I think I'm super realistic about it. Even if I don't achieve some of them, honestly, I wouldn't have a problem with that. I know I did my best and I did everything I could. And just because you didn't achieve something doesn't mean that you failed. There's a lot of competition in this world. There's a lot of people with the same dream and that's totally normal. And it's up to you how you're going to feel about it. How is your mindset going to be? And just how are you going to enjoy the process actually because the end goal is not as important as the process of getting there because on that path to our goal is when we learn where we grow as people and i think that's the most important thing